us the real reason why we don't see too much of Archie and Lily Diana from, of course, their parents, Meghan and Harry. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you're all keeping well, whatever you're doing. And as ever, thank you for taking the time out to watch. I know we're all very busy in this very modern world, but it's nice to have your company. Nice to see people and nice to read your comments, you know. It, um, it does sort of cheer you up, doesn't it, finding comments. And even if they're not necessarily the ones that you always want to read, it gives you a thing of like, oh, is this what people are thinking? And uh, of course, you get your mind going, doesn't it? As I've often said here on the show, you know, my heart goes out to people who have to spend time alone through no fault of their own and we should all be kinder to each other that's what it's all about really you know because we get a bit of conversation hear a bit of music jog those gray memory cells we're off aren't we that's what i think anyway <laughs> this particular story centers upon of course harry and megan who are shall we say back in the news possibly now for all the wrong reasons as they've decided to some might say go it alone on their media trail it's interesting isn't it when you think because you know they have spent millions if you like of pounds on trying to cultivate an image and in many respects the downside to it is that whoever they've hired or created or curated whatever these people now want to call themselves it simply hasn't worked for all the wrong reasons one of the biggest misconceptions though is the fact that Megan herself recently stated that she didn't really want to be back here in the United Kingdom simply because she couldn't really do the school run as there'd be lots of paparazzi particularly over here you know chasing her around now that's an absolute fallacy as we've seen but again she really upset the world's media because making these false claim hoods with no backup is very difficult indeed as one can imagine now the bigger problem that she has now of course is a lot of people are saying well you know you took a journalist with you when you were literally uh, on that car ride to pick your son up from school or nursery so go figure that out contradictions as ever in turn but now of course with their own PR looming themselves is this a bit of a bite back at someone who really knows exactly what's expected from royal duty the situation is really this, as we've seen recently, on the very first day of school, Catherine and William took their three children along to their brand new school. Now this is part of the deal with the media, you know, it's an historical event, it's filmed, pictured and then shared, but after that the children are left alone to do exactly what they want, you know, and with no media following them. I think that's a really nice deal and more importantly it means that the world gets to share in that very first day. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I didn't really think Prince George looked that fussed, you know, I was really nervous on my first school day, I would have been with all those photographers there, but seemingly not, they've moved forward. Now, according to a very good source, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, this is what you're going to be reading about in the next couple of days as a new remit. That's part of the reason why Harry and Meghan simply don't want to share their children online. Nothing to do necessarily with the official school day picture, etc. But then what happened, as we now know, with young Prince George, age nine. He was recently trolled online after an authoress uh, made some claim in her forthcoming book and really it all went a little bit wrong. According to a very good source, Meghan and Harry, who have claimed openly that they find um, the world of social media rather toxic, and toxicity is the word that they use, that's the whole point of why they're hiding their children away. Nothing more, nothing less. And they've agreed, obviously, to let us see on very rare occasions, uh, particularly upon their visit last time for the Platinum Jubilee, we got pictured, this picture, didn't we? With Lily Diana, or Lily, or Lily Bet, whichever you want to call her. None of us really have seen that much of her, so we're not quite sure, are we? But on a serious note, that is the story that they're pushing forward. Of course, lots of people are saying now, in this new modern age, you're going to have to come and share more of your life, particularly if you want to keep the big books rolling in. As for, of course, William, Catherine and their three children, they've done their official duty and now they will be left alone. But Harry and Meghan as ever, now they've cut free from their once secure public relations team, will have to decide just how much more they are willing to share of their lives and more importantly for the R factor, their children's lives moving forward. Now they're simply non-royal and micro celebrities. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.